when a milking cow is dried off, she needs to be removed from the milking herd and the daily routine. We can build dry cow diets on diet check using the forages on farm, testing the grass and nutrients for minerals to balance requirements for calcium, phosphorus and magnesium, also looking at potassium and iodine. These can be one diet through the dry period or else a far off and transition diet. Latest figures show 10% of cows have clinical milk fever and up to 75% are affected from subclinically. Milk fever eliminator can be fed for the last 14 days pre-calving at two and a half kilograms per head per day. This is a balanced mineral uh, with high quality protein and energy. This can be top dressed or trough fed. Also Exilit is available as a straight product to be mixed on farm in own TMR. Uh, this needs to be fed for the correct ratio for 14 days. Exilit works by binding calcium in the rumen, which triggers the cow to mobilise body calcium stores, meaning blood calcium levels are higher at calving. As soon as a cow is calved, milking rations should be made available. In the heavier soil areas, iodine deficiency can cause problems at calving through weak, dead calves, also retain cleansings. This also can have an effect on fertility in the next lactation through poor estrus cycles leading to lower conception rates. Dry cow trace element boluses and high iodine boluses um, should be given at drying off for 180 days cover through the dry period. This is especially suitable for cows at grass with no other supplements. All trace dry cow high iodine boluses given at drying off gives 120 days cover through the dry period and start of lactation. These are especially suitable for cows at grass with no other supplements.